hey guys and welcome to my channel today as you can see i'm in the park <laughs> because the day is very nice so i thought why not and today we're going to talk about intermittent fasting and how is fasting affecting us and the girls i think it's very important a subject because a lot of you girls going to fast tomorrow on ramadan so i thought i'm gonna make this video just to run with you with all the things so it's gonna this video is gonna be like general about intermittent fasting and I will make another special one just for the Muslim girls because I thought I'm gonna share some some things with you because I've been fasting as well in Ramadan yes my husband is Muslim so I've got some things to share so let's start from intermittent fasting and all girls watch it because it's something important here as well so the fasting if it's done actually correctly uh, comes with a lot of benefits one of them is the cell repair basically your cells are starting to repair because your body is not uh, focus on anything else like for example digesting food so your body actually have a time to repair itself another benefit of fasting is that it's actually uh, increase uh, clarity of the thinking and why is that because your body is not focusing on uh, digesting do you remember when you eat like pizza or like mcdonald's you feel like like sluggish you know your, your body had to uh, digest this things that's why you know you didn't feel a lot of energy because your body put this energy into digesting so you might find out that uh, when you're fasting you actually have a more energy and you've got more clarity of the thinking fasting prevents insulin resistance basically when you have too high the blood sugar your body has a difficulty to break down the sugar and the fasting actually helps us to keep this uh, sugar level under control some studies also said that it's reducing inflammation and oxidative stress but another study said that it's actually increasing stress that's why i'm going to tell you everything pros and cons so you can actually make your own decision but at least you know you know a lot of girls actually lose a lot of weight when they uh, do intermittent fasting but a lot of girls also gain weight and i'm going to share with you why that might happen pros of fasting what are the cons because yeah it's very tricky with us women and why it's tricky a lot of uh, these researches when it comes to benefits of the fasting are actually conducted on men researchers don't really uh, like us women as a subject for the testing because we are we are not stable as a male and we're coming with a lot of hormone fluctuation and imbalance depending on our menstrual cycle so researchers don't really like that guys my battery is dying so the next part i'm gonna record from home because <laughs> i forgot to charge my phone genius you're like genius you are such a genius i'm at home as you can see so what are the cons of the fasting fasting can actually reduce the thyroid production and endometriosis is linked to thyroid and lower thyroid a hormone can make you more fatigue and uh, it's affect your moods as well and this is very important uh, for the Muslim girls so that's why I make two separate videos because I want to share with you uh, some studies uh, regarding the thyroid and fasting in Ramadan so please uh, check out the next video as well fasting might also increase the cortisol level of women and for sure it will impact uh, your uh, period in one way or another if you are very sensitive and for example when you are uh, traveling uh, you can see the changes in your period you very likely gonna uh, see the changes in your period when you're fasting it's gonna be less regular and the most importantly it can actually affect our estrogen levels and we girls with endometriosis we have too high estrogen so it's something you really really need to uh, take into consideration before fasting don't fast longer than uh, 12 13 hours otherwise it's gonna uh, affect your hormones and we don't want that because we are working so hard to uh, balance our hormones don't fast when you are trying for the baby because it will affect your uh, chances massively and why is that because when our body feels like we are restricting the calories our body is thinking that the bad days are coming the bad days where the food is not available so what our body is doing is actually shutting down any unnecessary functions and reproductive function is considered unnecessary when it comes to our survival our body will uh, 
focus on our survival more than on reproduction. So if your body thinking, oh my God, we're going into starvation mode, you know, the bad uh, times are coming, you're never going to get pregnant because your body just won't let you. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe and share it with everyone. And please check out this video because although this is for the Muslim girls, I'm sharing some tips of what you can actually implement when you're fasting to have more benefits and less the side effects so please watch it as well as always i'm gonna see you in friday have a beautiful day i love you all bye